Hey there, it's Shannon Matchick Myers, and today we're looking at an example of finding a general solution for a differential equation. So, you know, a lot of this takes strategy. I always try to see if it's separable first. So here, let's go ahead and rewrite where dy is on the left side. People tend to like that. So we have y times secant squared at x dy is equal to quantity y squared plus 4 dx. So I see that if I divide both sides by y squared plus 4 and multiply both sides by cosine squared at x, because that's the reciprocal function to secant squared at x, we're going to get y over y squared plus 4 dy equals cosine squared at x dx. So it's completely separable. And let's check this out. So on the left hand side, it's a, a basic either change of variables problem or pattern recognition. So um, some people have been wanting a bit of a review. So if we write these as factors on the left hand side, then what you'll see is that the more complicated factor is y squared plus 1 to the negative 1. Now you need the derivative available in order to, to integrate this. So you can either do an official u substitution or you can use pattern recognition. So if somebody did a u substitution, you would let u equal to y squared plus 4 and du would equal to 2y dy. And I have the y dy, but I don't have the 2. Does that make sense? So in order to, to do this, I need the 2, but I'm, I can adjust it by multiplying by 1. So I'm going to multiply on the outside of the integral by 1 half. And now I'm not going to actually put the u in there because I have everything I need. Does that make sense? Okay, on the other side, we need to use an identity because this is cosine at x, the quantity squared, and I don't have a sine at x, which is the derivative of, well, most of the derivative of cosine at x available to use. I could have adjusted by the negative I needed, but I don't have a factor of sine at x. So we have, um, Larson calls it the power reducing identity. Basically, this is a good one just to store in your brain. If you have cosine squared at x, and this is derived from the one of the double angle identities for cosine at 2x, and then algebraically manipulating it, you end up getting 1 plus cosine at 2x over 2 dx. Now, continuing, we will have, so I'm going to complete the integration on that left-hand side, and so I'm integrating something to the negative 1. The 2y dy is the price of admission, so this is the same as doing u to the negative 1 and doing that integral. And so that's going to be natural log, absolute value of my u, but that u is y squared plus 4. Okay, so we can bring that 1 half out, and then we would have times the integral of quantity 1 plus cosine at 2x dx. And then why don't we multiply both sides by 2, and we'll have 2 times natural log absolute y squared plus 4 is equal to the integral of 1 dx plus the integral of cosine at 2x times dx. Now again, similarly, 
you're going to need, you know, to, to balance out that integral. And so if you were to start the substitution, you know, you would have W is equal to 2X, DW is equal to 2DX. Again, I'm not going to make the official substitution. That's just too much with differential equations. We need to be able to, to do this. But in your brain, you can think, oh, what do I need to balance this by? Well, if you have a 2DX, you're good to go. You've paid the price of admission to integrate that 2X angle. So I need to balance it out by a factor of 1 half, and then we will get 2 times natural log absolute y squared plus 4 is equal to x plus 1 half times sine at 2x plus our constant of integration. So this could be written as we don't need the absolute value on the y squared plus 4 because it's positive and now we can bring in the using the power rule that 2 so we'd have the quantity y squared plus 4 squared in that natural log would equal 2x plus 1 half times sine at 2x plus c, our constant of integration. And we're good to go. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching the show. And if you like what I'm doing, hey please click that like button and subscribe. Bye.